Many have spent their entire lives dedicated to being recognised by the Guinness Book of Records. But across the ditch in New Zealand, Timaru man William Bissett was awarded the title of the world's fastest piano player. And he did it in just one month. So how do you feel being called the world's fastest piano player? Oh, it's just unbelievable. In fact, it hasn't even sunk in yet. You know, winning um, the world record, uh, that's what other people do. I never thought I'd actually ever be in that situation. William isn't your typical 35-year-old Kiwi bloke. Be gentle. I have a beautiful face. In Timaru, he's considered amongst locals a celebrity, but not for his musical talents. Rather, he is known as... Willy Willy Yum Yum. Uh, look, Willy Willy Yum Yum is my alter ego, and... He's supposed to be naughty, he's supposed to be a bit of a brat, uh, he's a, he's flirts a lot and, um, and I've, I've got some plans for Willy Willy Yum Yum and, but unfortunately you know, some people in Timaru have confused Willy Willy Yum Yum with me and, and I guess Timaru is a bit of a conservative town and, uh, and so I've heard all sorts of rumours about me, you know, some people think I'm gay. Uh, some people think I'm a womanizer and that I hang around with girls all the time. Out of one out of ten, how cool am I? About a twelve. About a twelve. I'm a twelve tonight. Thank you very much. It's just, that's just not true. Um, but uh, I, you know, I made a music video. It's a hard fat life for me. It's a hard fat life for me. Living on takeaways for tea and addicted to KFC. I'm really, really yum yum. Look at my big tum tum. I cringe when I look at that music video now because, well, I was 40 kgs heavier than I, than I am now, so I lost quite a bit of weight. But I was, you know, it had 10,000 hits in three days, so I'm pretty pleased about that. But it's really kinky when potato and gravy drips off my chin. Processed dips, daily fish and chips, cellulite on the hips. Very awkward when gentlemen glance at my man tips. Born and raised in Timaru, South Canterbury of New Zealand, William comes from an entire family of accomplished musicians, and we were astounded at the speed and accuracy of his playing. But is he really the fastest in the world? Well, we contacted the Guinness World Records headquarters for verification. The letter we got back shocked us all. William was not only 18.8% faster than the previous record holder, but the speed at which he played was so fast that some of the judges questioned if there was some type of supernatural assistance. <laughs> what? Supernatural? I don't think so. Well, I've been playing ever since I was a young kid, and in fact, actually, it's quite funny because at school I used to be teased about the size of my hands. I, I can actually stretch almost one and a half octaves. Um, but it, when I was young, I just played and played and practiced and practiced, and, and, and now that I'm older, I, I play at least an hour a week. His performance is now officially recorded in the Guinness World Records. And as long as I could play one minute without any mistakes, as long as that minute was much faster than anybody else, um, I, I, I won. But I always go back to Bach, I love Bach, you know, especially the old, you know, sort of... So William, what motivated you to reach out to becoming the world's fastest pianist? What motivated me? Well, I, I, I lost my wife to sickness two years ago. And she used to, she used to joke around that, I, that I'm the fastest person on the keyboard. And, and, uh, but I never really thought about you know, entering the, the Guinness Book of Records. Um, we were in hospital and it was actually the day she passed away. You know, she said to me, she said, look, William, you know, follow your dreams. And, uh, you know, and she said, you know, you know, <laughs> she's, she said, you know, um, you know, make me proud, I'll be watching over you. And so every key that I play, uh, every key that I play on the on the keyboard, I, it's it's for her. Well, it does it does actually take quite a few hours before my fingers are, are completely warm up. I've got to do lots of stretches um, and also just practice some scales, you know. 
I try not to do it too fast at the beginning. And then, you know, sometimes what I'll do then is, the great thing about having a keyboard is that um, I, can, I can play different instruments. And one quite important thing for me is, is um, getting, um, playing different things in different timing for the coordination, because that's quite, that's quite difficult. Like for example, sometimes I do this, it doesn't sound very good, but... So I sound terrible, but technically that's actually really, really difficult to play. And one day, William hopes to break his own record.